PVC pipes, or polyvinyl chloride pipes, are one of the most popular materials in construction. Whether it's in plumbing, houses and other projects, these pipes are great choices because of their lightweight, resistant to corrosion and chemicals, and easy to install nature. This facility has realized the demand in PVC pipes, and they are one of the many factories that help meet these demands. In today's Lord Gizmo video, we will take a look at how they manufacture these gigantic PVC pipes. But before that, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more related videos. Extrusion is the primary way factories like this can manufacture PVC pipes. This is an effective process of shaping and forming the pipes regardless of the application. It's a high volume, continuous process that offers excellent efficiency and cost effectiveness. This process is made up of different steps and we will get into each one of them in a short while. But all of it starts with gathering and preparing the materials. PVC pipes are mostly made up of PVC resin along with these other materials. Depending on the quality of the pipe, they can also add their desired measurements of stabilizers lubricants and colorants. Later, you will see how these raw materials can result in high-quality PVC pipes. Once all the materials are gathered, they will be placed inside this huge container so that the workers can proceed with melting and mixing them. Usually, this step is done inside a large twin screw extruder, but other facilities also have their own methods. The bottom line is how all of the raw materials are exposed to high heat and pressure so that it can melt and get incorporated with each other. This step is monitored and should result in a viscous paste. Let us now take a look at this part of the facility where all the shaping happens. Since the PVC pipes they will be making now are larger than the usual ones we see, this whole step takes up a large area of the facility. The shaping of the pipe is done through the help of programmed monitors that watch over these custom-designed dies. It is important to know that these dies are made up of durable materials like steel or high-strength alloys so that it can keep up with the requirements in shaping PVC pipes. Depending on what the factory is currently making, these dies are also able to make pipes with different diameters, wall thicknesses, and even incorporate specific features like grooves or ridges. Majority of this step is done mechanically, so the workers just need to make sure that the molten paste for the PVC is fed inside the die. Then they will continue to monitor its condition through monitors and computers inside the facility. Even though they have successfully melted and shaped the PVC into the desired form, the process doesn't stop there they still need to cool it down and allow it to settle to its final form. In PVC pipe manufacturing, cooling plays a vital role in solidifying the final shape and achieving the desired properties. To do this, they place the PVC pipes inside this chamber where they will go through rapid cooling. This prevents the plastic from sagging or deforming as it solidifies. There are different ways to go about this whole step. There are facilities who might use water baths or even vacuum tanks, but for this facility, they use water sprays. They just allow the pipe to be drenched in water until a certain temperature is achieved. Once they have completely cooled down and have fully solidified, the workers will start removing them from the chamber and transferring it to another machine. This time, they need to fasten the whole thing with machines because they will start with the cutting. In this facility, they cut the PVC pipes using high-powered saws because these make cleaner and more precise cuts. 
This method also helps make this step easier, even on large volumes of pipes. This machine cuts each of the pipes according to how long the factory intends them to be, or depending on what the project needs. Right after the cutting, some of the workers will go near the pipes and do their pre-assessment of the pipe's qualities. Most of the time, this is done to determine the size and measurements of the pipe. This is very crucial for the next step too because this is how they know which seal or grip to add. A pipe usually deals with liquids and most of the time it is in large volumes of them. This is why factories and facilities make sure that the pipes they produce do not leak. They do this through adding sealants or grippings at the ends of the pipe. The process is simple. They just allow this machine to shape the ends of the pipe and add the grip. This also makes sure that the connection between one pipe to another is seamless and strong. In specific applications requiring unique properties, like enhanced grip or chemical resistance, specialized coatings containing rubber or rubber-like compounds might be applied. However, this isn't a standard practice for regular PVC pipes. Once they are done with that, they proceed to testing out the PVC pipes. You will be surprised to know that at this point, they purposefully subject samples of the pipe to forces that can possibly destroy it to see what the limits are. First of all, they test how well it can handle water. This machine makes sure that there are no leaks or cracks in the pipe. If it passes that test, a sample of this pipe will be undergoing a test that will see if it does well under pressure. Pipes are subjected to internal pressure exceeding their specified rating to ensure they don't leak or burst under real-world conditions. After that, their measurements will be noted again. This time, it will be tracked in a computer program. The lifespan of a large heavy-duty pipe varies significantly based on the material and environmental conditions. Steel pipes, which are susceptible to corrosion, generally last between 20 to 100 years. Cast iron pipes have a similar lifespan of 75 to 100 years, but are prone to rust. Copper pipes are less susceptible to corrosion and can last anywhere from 50 to 100 years. PVC and other plastic pipes resistant to rust typically have a lifespan of 50 to 100 years but can become brittle when exposed to ultraviolet light or extremely cold temperatures. In some facilities, they also test the tensile strength and elongation of the material. This test will indicate the ability of the pipe to withstand forces without breaking. Others also make sure to measure the density of the PVC material because this can influence its strength and durability. In their laboratories, they also make sure to test not only the appearance of the pipers, but also all of its components. Now that they have checked all of the factors that may affect the pipe's quality, they prepare it for shipment. Even when this is considered as the final step of the process, 
extreme care and precision is still needed to ensure that they do not cause any damage before the actual transportation. Then, they distribute the PVC pipes to the companies or construction sites that have ordered them. This has been Lord Gizmo, and we hope you learned a thing or two. Before you leave, please don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we have new uploads.